Hey, I know the information and advice you hear from vocal coaches like myself can be confusing, contradictory at times, especially when you hear warnings about pushing, don't push your voice because it causes strain or even worse, some, some damage to the voice. But yet, it takes pressure to sing. You have to create some air pressure to sing any note. So what's the difference between push and pressure? So here's a quick demonstration regarding that line between push and pressure. I'm doing it right now. You see, right now I'm putting pressure on this piano. I'm leaning against it. But I'm not pushing it. I can put even more of my body weight and really lean against this piano. But because of the piano's weight, right now, I'm still not pushing it. So the line between push and pressure is movement. It takes a lot of pressure to move this piano, to push the piano. And so if I add that pressure up, I can push the piano. But I wasn't when I just lean on it. This is pressure. This is push. Okay, so let's say the line between pressure and push is movement. But how does that apply to the voice? Well, when you add too much pressure underneath the larynx, you're going to create a pushed environment. And that means neighboring muscle has to join in to oppose that extra energy, that extra pressure. And now if there was someone else on the other side of that piano when I was pushing it, they would have to apply the same energy back in order to keep that piano there. So in order to keep your larynx in that neutral position, lots of times we have pressure from below and pressure from above in a shoving match. And that's where the straining comes in. Now obviously the object that we're putting pressure on matters. If I give this light chair the same pressure I gave the piano, well, you see. So in that stupid example, the chair represents a high note when your vocal folds are much thinner and lighter. And the piano represented low notes where your vocal folds are much thicker and they can handle the pressure. Get those two confused and you can fall flat on your face. That's why it's important not to apply the same air pressure to every note you sing. What was pressure can easily become push. So use your face as the barometer. If you have to engage a lot of facial muscle to oppose the pressure that you're sending up to sing a pitch, well then, my friend, you are pushing your voice. Now, if you're intentionally doing that for a certain sound, well, you're a grown-up and you just have to live with the consequences. But if you want to learn how not to push your voice yet sing big, loud, powerful notes, well then, deny those facial reactions. In other words, don't let your face be a part of the shoving match. And you will learn how to coordinate the precise amount of air that it takes to sing each and every sound. I'm Mark Baxter for voicelesson.com. Can't you see the possibility?